Welcome to the February 21st, 2022 Advanced Report for McGowan Group clients and NetworthRadio.com listeners. I'm Spencer McGowan, your financial weatherman with your fast-paced weekly tour of the global financial markets. And I'm also president of McGowan Group Asset Management, a team of 10 dedicated professionals working for you, the families that we serve, right here from the Crescent in Dallas. Thank you for joining us. This is designed to help you make great decisions in the year ahead in the financial markets. We'll start with the Dow Jones Industrial Average. I switched to a two-year perspective because there are a few things I want to show you in the Dow chart where we corrected this week to about a minus 5.5% for the year. Right now, 34,300. When did we first hit that level? We go back to uh, May. This is actually a one-year chart. And we go back to April, actually, for the first time that we hit the same level where we are right now. That's the range-bound market that we've been talking about in the YouTube videos. Be sure to subscribe, share with your friends that would find it valuable because we are dedicated to bringing you the recap each week that helps you make great decisions with just five or ten minutes and help you build portfolios. We're available for Zoom meetings and we love visitors here at the Crescent, so be sure to set your time for a plan update. Notice this flat period. Yes, we hit a high point at the end of the year. What's that? Institutional window dressing. Equity, including the S&P and the tech stocks, had been the rage and there was a big pile in at the end of the year that set a new high for the Dow near 37,000. But I would call this a range bound market. It's actually a stealth correction where earnings have gone up still impressively, but you were relatively flat. Where has the correction been? Remember S&P 500 down about 8% for the year and we also have the NASDAQ which we're about to get to, the tech stocks. The NASDAQ is down 12% so far this year but notice the high at 16,200 now 13,716. That's a pretty large correction of about 2,500 points on the NASDAQ. From the base level, that 2,500 points is near 15%. This is the beginning of the headlines that you're seeing. Federal Reserve tightening combined with Ukraine give us a sobering effect in the markets and the high multiple companies, especially those that don't justify their current price, are getting slammed in the current market. Facebook down 39 percent. You can see Zoom. Uh, Zoom is actually down from its peak well over uh, 70 percent at this point. And here we have ARK Innovation. From a year ago until now, ARK Innovation is down more than 50 percent. Robotics, genomics, the companies that have great potential for the future, but were way overpriced when this became popular and the total return year to date is a minus 28%. Wow. Here, what do we have year to date? About 14% gain plus yield for the energy infrastructure that we've been talking about. And it appears close to topping its high from June of last year. Last year, energy led the S&P, and that's of course true this year with the S&P down a minus eight, energy infrastructure up 14. Well, here on our total return graph for uh, crude oil, it's up 25% so far this year. That rally's obviously been in the news, and it says, how long does the energy cycle last? In the past, it's been six or seven years, and it started, of course, March of 2020. Bitcoin. There was a cryptocurrency correction that started in November. This is a cryptocurrency Bitcoin futures fund that hit as an ETF exchange traded fund. 
What does that mean? Well, it's a basket of futures contracts on Bitcoin, essentially. And you can see it went from a release point of about 44 down to about 25. The correction in cryptocurrency was down by half at the lows of January. So cryptocurrency imploded. What you're witnessing is the sobering of speculation with the Federal Reserve tightening, pulling back all that free printed money, and at the same time, the shockwave of Ukraine, which is likely a set of negotiated concessions with Putin, hopefully saving lots of lives. And this was another IPO that went to 234. Now it's 25. Mara is one of those marathon digital holdings, uh, kind of an undescript company that deals in crypto. Uh, but they really haven't defined a business plan that would justify appreciation. So you can see what's happened since Mara was released in 2012, $234, now 25 and down from a high of over $75 just recently. That's its from inception in 2012. Here we have the top 10, bottom 10. And we've changed this report. Each week we're going to bring you over the last 90 days which companies have done the best and the worst in the S&P 500. Well, it's no secret, Halliburton, Marathon, Pioneer, Natural Resources, Occidental, Devon Energy, Schlumberger, EOG, ConocoPhillips, all in what? The energy space, Activision up about 30% for the year. But that's the top 10. Bottom 10, Under Armour, uh, Facebook, uh, Enphase Energy, which is part of the solar complex. Solar will become much more profitable in the years ahead and it's reached the point that it's very very interesting netflix people aren't going to sit home anymore with the decline in covid cases uh, paypal another tech 47 percent down and etsy down 54 percent saying people will actually go for the experience of shopping instead of doing it online thank you for tuning in mcgowan group youtube here for you each and every week devoted to your success as an investor and be sure to set your time for a Zoom meeting or an in-office meeting with McGowan Group Asset Management, the team that cares. You can go to networthradio.com and learn more about what we've accomplished for our clients. Thank you for tuning in to Net Worth Media today and our efforts over the past two decades to educate clients and help clients make great decisions. That's the reason that we're here at YouTube McGowan Group, Apple Podcasts, Net Worth Radio, and NetWorthRadio.com. The Net Worth Media effort is designed to help you make great decisions and address value at risk of loss, fluctuation in the markets. Remember, if we talk about a security, doesn't make it a recommendation until you come down and get a plan from McGowan Group Asset Management, the team that cares. You can set a Zoom meeting or an in-office meeting at the Crescent and we'll give you a written plan that encompasses what we believe to be the best allocations. This is a team of 10 devoted to you. That includes the research that you see each week from Reuters, from Bloomberg, and from the best sources. We always post links at networthradio.com for what we believe can help you make great decisions, the research that comes up. Now, the Net Worth Media effort is also designed to address cycles in the market, value at risk of loss. At networthradio.com, you can get the ADV form that shows, yes, we're a fiduciary, a registered investment advisor. It covers the costs of hiring our team to help you in the future ahead. It really helps to have an expert team on your side that you can reach by phone, email, and of course, a team that's here for you every week to address what's going on in the markets because anxiety can often lead investors to make decisions that are either dangerous chasing things or selling things when they shouldn't. And that's a big part of our planning effort at McGowan Group Asset Management. Thank you for tuning in and we look forward to serving you and your family in the years ahead.